Hey crafty fam, it's Alex Vanover. Welcome back to my craft room. In this video, I wanna share with you the magnificent, gorgeous fonts bundle that Creative Fabrica is offering right now because it's such an amazing deal that I wanna make sure that you guys don't miss out. So they are offering a font bundle with 194 premium fonts for just $8. And that's of course, if you don't already have a subscription and you wanna buy it individually, that's an amazing value. But if you have one of their subscriptions, you get to get you get to download this and you don't have to pay anything for it if you have a qualifying subscription. And I have the all access subscription personally, which means that I can download anything on the Creative Fabrica website and I don't have to pay an individual price for that. So if you guys wanna grab any of those subscriptions, I definitely recommend checking them out. You can use my coupon code DIYALEX30. I'll also put that down in the description below. DIYALEX30 gets you 30% off of every single month of all of their subscription plans. So either Either way that you go about it, it's a crazy good value. And this $8 price is only gonna last until May 16th. So make sure that if you're interested, you grab it soon. The bundle says it'll be here for another 21 days, but my understanding is the price is gonna go back up by May 16th, 2021. So make sure that you check this out. So first, let's go ahead and go over some of these fonts. I want to scroll by them all so you can see them. I'm going to point out my favorites. Then I'm going to show you um, what they look like in Cricut Design Space and how to grab some of the glyphs that make them look really fancy and really fun. And then we'll wrap this guy up. So you'll notice on the graphic, it says over 210 fonts. And the reason for that is because there are 194 regular fonts, but some of the fonts are font pairs or have multiple fonts in their font family. So that's how you get the over 210 fonts. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that. So if that doesn't make sense to you, I will show you that when we get there. I just wanted to show you, cause that was something I noticed is that these numbers don't match. And I was like, hey, what the heck? And then I got to thinking about it and it makes perfect sense. So first I'm just gonna start by scrolling through all these fonts and pointing out some of my favorites to you. I downloaded my top 10, but there's a lot more than 10 that I loved. So I wanted to give you guys a good preview for everything that it includes. And one thing I noticed about this font bundle is that there's a lot of variety here. There's a lot of diverse in um, style and look. So depending on your aesthetic, I bet you can find a font or two that's gonna work for you. And for $8, that's a crazy good deal. So doorbell was one of the first ones that I really liked. I just thought it was a pretty and simple script font. But something else I wanted to talk to you guys about is fonts like this. So you guys have heard me talk about this before, um, but it can be a little bit confusing when you're looking at fonts to use with your cutting machine. If you're gonna be cutting vinyl or HTV using a Cricut machine or any other die cutting machine. And fonts like this are gonna give you problems because look how distressed that is. That's a lot of really small cuts for your machine to handle. So I would recommend avoiding fonts like this. Now, however, this is such a big font bundle that I'm assuming you're not gonna use every single font in the bundle. So it's not necessarily something to worry about. I just wanted to make sure that you have the right expectation when you go into buying these bundles, you're not expecting to be able to use every single one. So this is a font that would be much better used in print, such as a graphic designer or someone who designs logos, things like that. Now, if you're using sublimation with any of these fonts, I'm sure any of them would work because you're printing them and you don't have to worry about cutting them. So if you have any questions about fonts you can use, let me know in the comments. I just wanted to be sure to address that for you guys in case you're not familiar with the whole font world because it is <laughs> a lot to know and a lot to look out for. Another one of probably my favorites in this entire bundle is this Hollister font. I love these pretty glyphs on the end. Some people call these flourishes or swashes, but the official name for this is a glyph. And I'll show you guys how to grab that here in just a moment. But I really, really liked the Hollister font. And I didn't download Horrified tonight, but I thought this would be really, really neat for like Halloween and stuff like that. Oh, I like Outhouse too. There are so many great fonts that each time I go through this, I keep finding more fonts that I like. <laughs> Hustle Faster was another one of my top 10. I really liked the kind of modern calligraphy um, feel of these capital letters. And so I downloaded this one. I'll show that to you as well. There's just so many great options in this bundle. I feel like the value is crazy. I also really liked this, this Garlando font. Um, I really like the swashes on the end of this L and this O. And I really like the modern shape of that capital G. So that's another one I grabbed for you guys.
Hunter Man is another one of my top 10 favorites because you guys know I'm always on the lookout for non-script but still decorative, nice looking fonts. And I feel like those can be a little bit hard to find. So I grabbed Hunter Man because I thought it was a nice one. I did not download Shearshank, but I think this one is really, really cool for like Halloween or like creepier projects if you're into that kind of stuff. It can be a lot of fun. So channels is one that I wanted to point out. One of those fonts that has multiple within the family. So here's an example. Within the channels bundle, you get these five different styles of this exact same font. And I really, really like this distressed one. I think this would be really, really nice if you like to screen print with distress fonts or if you're just more into the distress look. This would be a great font that's not absolutely going to kill you when it comes to weeding a super distressed font. So I'll show you guys these up close in Cricut Design Space, but I just wanted to point out what like the multiple fonts in a font family looks like. And here's a great example. We'll keep going through all of these. Anyone else a font hoarder? <laughs> I feel like I'm always on the lookout for new fonts. Even though I love what I have, I'm always willing to download more. <laughs> Hangout Script is another one that I grabbed because I liked the capital H here. And I just thought it was a nice modern script font that's a little bit different from the stuff I already have. So Shockfest is another one that I wanted to go over with you guys because you can use it for things like vinyl and HTV and paper crafts if that's what you're into. But I want you to keep in mind that you're going to need to create your designs a little bit bigger in order to make sure that these um, sharp edges are gonna make sure that they cut okay. If you try to make these really, really small, chances are that your material is just totally gonna shred if you don't make these the right size. So keep projects like that in mind. Always be open to changing your fonts if necessary. You know, you don't want to cause yourself a huge headache um, when it comes to making those projects. But if this is your style and that's your thing, I think it's definitely something that you could go for. So many good options here, you guys. I just love this font bundle. Distressed was another one that I grabbed because I really like the vintage feel to it, especially if you like to make a lot of raglans or if you're like a baseball fan and you like that vintage baseball look. I love having the fonts that have these big swashes available. I'll show you guys this one in Cricut Design Space as well. And I didn't download Quotes Trio yet, but I really like the kind of thickness of this font. I like that it's a script font, but it still has like I don't know, it's kind of chunky to me, which I like because then you can use multiple kinds of materials, multiple colors, and it's not gonna be as hard to read. Some of these thinner fonts can be a little bit challenging to read if you don't use the right material. I also love Topanga. I did not download this yet, but it totally reminds me of Boy Meets World, which makes me really, really excited. So I really like the decorative elements in this font. I think it would be really fun to use in projects. We're getting toward the end here. Oh yeah, Himalaya was another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It has that same kind of chunky, but still cursive vibe to it. Absolutely love it. I think this may be the last one that I grabbed, but this is Sweetness. So it kind of has a similar look to Himalaya, except that Sweetness has a ton of glyphs that are available. Um, so you have lots of customization options, which I always love when it comes to fonts like this. So that's the last one that I actually downloaded myself. I think Child Witch is going to be really cool also for Halloween. But there are so many great options in this bundle. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you guys the examples of all my favorites. So here's everything all typed out. I made them different colors just so you could make sure to distinguish them. I talked about Hollister specifically and how I really love all of the glyphs that come with it. And the way that I always access my glyphs is through a free software called MainType. So let me go up to um, me, go up to Hollister in MainType. And I have a totally separate video on this. So if you've never used glyphs before, I will link that up in the right hand corner of the screen for you guys. So you can go watch that video because it's really, really helpful. They're all in alphabetical order here. So Hollister is right here. So when you click on the font, you want to go down to what's called the private use area, and that's going to show you what um, 
glyphs and alternate characters each and every font is going to offer. So you'll see that Hollister has um, all the lowercase letters with glyphs going out to the left hand side. And then down here at the bottom, it has all of the letters with glyphs going out to the right hand side. So you have lots of options depending on what you're spelling and what it says, but it's just a very pretty font that I think I'm going to end up using quite often actually. It's definitely one of my favorites. And so you can see that with any font that you have installed into your computer. So you can see Himalaya has a lot of pretty ones. Um, it has some more decorative capital letters if the original capital letter doesn't have enough style for you. So it's really fun to have access to this. So like I said, I will link that um, video also down in the description if you wanna see more about that. So this A is another example of a glyph that I got for Himalaya. Here's Hangout script, which I thought was really fun. This is Sweetness script, and this S on the far right is one that I grabbed from Main Type with an extra glyph in it. This is Hunter Man. Here's Hustle Faster, which probably is something I wouldn't normally gravitate toward, but I, just, I don't know. There's something about it. I really like that style. I think that Garlando is something I'm probably going to use on a regular basis too. I just think it's really trendy and really pretty. I didn't go grab any glyphs from main type. This is just exactly how I typed it out. This is the Distressored, um, the baseball font that I showed you guys. It has tons of fonts in main type as well. So I can show you guys what that looks like real quick. You may have to do some experimenting. You know, sometimes that's part of the process too. But when I click on this font, I can see all of these different options for all of the um, all of the like swatches that go underneath, all these different shapes and things like that. And the only thing I need to update my other glyph video because something has updated. Now, when you click on something in main type, you need to use the buttons Control C on your keyboard. And then when you go back to Cricut Design Space and you open up a text box, make sure the text box is the same as the font you're trying to paste. And then you need to use Control V to paste that into the box. If you if you try to use copy and paste, like I say in the video, it's going to not copy over for you, but if you just use control C and control V in both, it works like a charm. So that's how you would end up connecting these to your letters and you can play around with the sizing and all of that kind of stuff if you wanna underline the whole word and all that good kind of stuff. There's tons of options with these fonts, which is what makes them so fun. And then that channels font I showed you guys, I typed everything out to show you what it would look like here. And I just really am obsessed with this distress font the most, but I really like having all these options within the same font family because it just makes projects more fun and a little bit easier to coordinate when you have multiple fonts in the same family for a design. So there's tons of great options within this um, bundle and I'm really, really excited to start using it. I've already extracted everything and started all my downloads, so I cannot wait to play around with this font, but make sure that you grab this by May 16th. And if you want to support this channel and support me, you can purchase it through the affiliate link in the description of this video. That just means that I get a small commission from your purchase at no extra cost to you. So it's definitely appreciated, but it's never ever required, of course. And if this video was helpful for you, if you could click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. I also would love to see what you guys make with these fonts. So make sure to connect with me on social media and join my Facebook group. I'll be sure to link everything down in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around real soon.